If you are looking to buy a car, the internet might be one of the first places you go. Yeah, it's oftentimes a pretty good way to kind of research all the vehicles reliability. Mm -hmm. Not always the best place to buy a car. 300 sides Gary Harper has a story tonight. Well, I've said it many times before, and that is the internet is a great place for scammers to hang out. They can lie about their name. They can lie about where they live. They can lie about anything they want, and you well, you don't know the difference. Keep that in mind if you're using the internet to buy a car that you haven't seen. Walking to the bus stop is pretty routine for Doreen Lopez. I've gone places where I've had to change up to four buses in one morning to get to a job every day for three months. <laughs> Tired of the constant bus commute, the Tempe woman started saving for a car and eventually went online to see what she could afford. She used a website called OfferUp, a legitimate online site where you can buy and sell all kinds of different items. And that's when Doreen found a car that fit her budget. That's a beautiful car, isn't it? $1,000 was all the seller was asking for this 2006 Acura. The seller then encouraged Doreen to navigate outside of the OfferUp website. And then through emails, the seller told Doreen the deal could be completed through eBay Motors. By using eBay Motors, the seller claimed they both could be protected from getting ripped off. But as you're about to see, that certainly wasn't the case. I'm out $2,000. Doreen now realizes her first mistake was listening to the scammer who emailed and convinced Doreen into sending a $1,000 eBay gift card to reportedly purchase the Acura, a car the scammer really didn't own at all. The second mistake, sending an additional $1,000 in eBay gift cards to cover fictitious fees for the car. It's a total of two grand. I was duped. Doreen was lured into a car selling scam that Three On Your Side has been exposing for years. There really is a legitimate eBay Motors program to protect consumers, but scammers use the eBay logo and similar looking email addresses to fool potential victims. eBay tells Three On Your Side this transaction appears to be a scam as it did not take place on eBay, and added they work with the FBI in warning consumers about the scam. Unfortunately, Doreen did not see or hear about that warning. I cry every day, every single day, for what happened to me. For now, Doreen is back to waiting on a bus and back to saving up to buy another used car. I feel stupid. I feel like an ignorant person that I, I let these people do that to me, and I kept sending them the money because I wanted that car. A little bit of good news, and that is Doreen, she just landed a brand new job. The downside, it's going to have to take about an hour to get to that job using the bus, and then, of course, an hour to get home. With that said, if you know somebody with a reliable pre-owned car that they would like to donate, let me know. Write me an email, and I'll do an update. I'm Gary Harper, 3 on your side.